<laughs> so my name is Silvia Dopazo. I'm coming from Spain. I'm a realist in the show. I wake up in the morning. I like to sleep a lot. It is Sunday and it's pretty late. It is uh, 12.48 right now. It's time to go to sleep, but before I need to check my schedule to make sure that I uh, set the right alarm. So as you can see here, I start at uh, 10 o'clock, which gives me time to sleep that I really like. And so I'm gonna set the alarm and uh, go to sleep right now. So I wake up at 8.15, the bus uh, leaves at 8.30. Good morning. It's uh, just three minutes left till uh, the bus leaves, so I have to rush. I rush myself, run into the bus, sleep a little bit. I got my coffee, my breakfast, and then I warm up for my first discipline, which normally is chains. Then uh, bungees, then we change sometimes, sometimes it's aerial ladder, sometimes it's stick manipulation. We get uh, some lunch, coffee again, and then uh, sometimes I work in tissue. Sometimes we do acting class at the end, at the very end. When I arrive to the residence uh, where I live at the moment, I normally have a dinner, this is the first thing I do. And then depends on the day, some, some days are, we are really tired, so I just put some uh, series in TV shows in Netflix, or sometimes we just do some uh, board games all together at the lobby. So today is Monday, and uh, we just finish a really hard task. Incredible. <laughs> a 1,000 pieces puzzle. So my first thing of being part of Axel family is that I'm literally learning new skills. Um, I was a rope and tissue artist and now I'm skating, I am doing chains, bungees and all that are things and disciplines that I've never done before. So today I'm gonna do my first uh, makeup session and uh, here I have everything ready. Let's see how it goes. So in my childhood, I was a gymnast. I was doing rhythmic gymnastics. I started at seven years old and I stopped when I was 21. After that, I started working as a physiotherapist. I thought I was going to give up to the uh, professional sports but actually I couldn't give it I couldn't give up and I was treating people that were acrobats and I was going I, I wanted to know more about them and then I realized that I actually wanted to become an acrobat and I didn't want to be a physio for now so I decided to start training aerials and I got my first job a few months later before joining I Axel, I was working in Cirque du Soleil at sea. Uh, so it means I was working on a ship on, on top of the water. And now kind of I'm doing the same thing, but uh, it is ice, it's not water anymore. It is water, but it's, so, it's solid, whatever. <laughs> because I'm doing few acts in this show, every time I have to warm up differently. Uh, for bungees, I need to work on my core mainly. Uh, for silks, I warm up my flexibility and for chain is kind of everything. I need to be strong but also flexible and ov overall I need to have a really good grip. I think for me the most uh, challenging is to be on the ice. Skating is the hard thing and it's uh, a completely different language. I or normally use my arms and my, my core and now I have to use a lot my my legs, my knees in general, yes. That's hard. So we are now in the quick change area, just next to the ice. So we are ready to go. I have my crampons on. I have actually new shoes uh, with a spike that uh, keep me stable on the ice. So let's try them. When I get on the ice, the first thing I, I think is uh, focus, don't fall, don't break anything. You need your arms to do your job. That's all what I think. <laughs> I really like the adrenaline that I get every day before going on my discipline because mainly I do aerials and every time I feel this adrenaline I feel that I'm safe. It's enough to be safe and not too much to be out of control. Thank <laughs> you. 
The advice I would give to anyone who wants to be part of Cirque du Soleil is um, find what makes you special. That's something very important and Cirque du Soleil look for very special people. Never give up, even if you go to the audition and you don't pass, you don't go through, don't give up, just keep working, you can definitely get in later on. I would describe Axel Badass game and concert.